Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. All right, we're going to do weekly reading for March. Oh wow. Okay, hold up. I haven't flipped the calendar yet. That's how far behind I am. March 6th through the 13th. Why not? Okay. Everything will be in the description box below as to what you need to know. I go by the element, so if you're not sure what element your sun sign falls under, it'll be available there. These are good for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All things still can and maybe vice versa. So if you're a cross watcher hanging out in here, thanks for coming by. A warm welcome to all new and old. If you're new and you think you might want to hang out some more, hit the subscribe button. That'd be cool. Okay, we're going to hop right into it. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh. Okay, well, two came out for you, so we're going to address it. The two of swords and the moon. Ooh, we tipping down. That sounds like things have been revealed to you and you have made a decision. Might be a little bit guarded. Mm -mm. All right. I'm going to call two shuffles. Pardon any background noise that might be coming over the microphone. The boys are playing video games in the next room. Ooh, the nine of coins. And the five of wands is your challenge. Some of y'all just going to be independent single for a minute. The challenge here is conflict. Somebody might be a little bit butt hurt. What's coming in? Uh, starting out a little restless this week, but I see calmer waters approaching. Queen of Cups. Loving yourself first. I like it. And it's all happening because Two of Wands, Nine of Cups, Eight of Coins. A decision? Somebody was at a crossroads about a decision, having to let something go to move forward. Nine of Cups. That's self-fulfillment. Eight of Coins. Energy, effort put into a situation. Oh, wow. Three of swords reversed, ten of swords reversed. It's the bottom of the deck, friends. Justice! You know what I love about justice? This could be a legal matter for some of y'all. Could just be involved in a Libra. I also have Pisces and Sagittarius on the board for the majors. I got a little bit of everybody. Signs don't matter. The energy's coming off the card. Lady Justice comes in to balance scales, and sometimes she has to cut things out of your life to do that. Or maybe you're the one doing the cutting. It's all about self-love, guys. It's all about doing what is best for you to balance yourself. Put yourself at peace. Let's get a little clarity, friends. King of Cups reversed. <sighs> hmm. Wow. 
I'm hearing that's beyond poker fist. Hearing, feeling, sensing. You've just completely emo emotionally closed yourself off to this by the looks of things. All right. Let's talk about this conflict. Why is the five of wands here? Oh, the lovers. Somebody made a choice. Gee, that's been coming up a lot, hasn't it? One more. Could be a Gemini. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Somebody made a choice. Ace of Pentacles is reversed. Something may not have been meant to grow. Lovers, Justice, Ace of Pentacles reversed. Avoidance of conflict. Why is Four Swords reversed too? Some of these situations restless because somebody's not talking. Or somebody's restless because somebody revoked a cup. Oh, there it is. Lady Justice. There she is. She came out twice. Rejection protection. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Indeed. Don't get so restless. Could be a legal matter. Why is temperance here? Talk to me about the calm waters. What's going to bring in the calm waters? What's going to help things flow? What's going to bring peace and calm to this? Could it be patience? Oh gosh, it landed sideways. One more. It gave me five. We're putting these back. Five of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Two of Pentacles. No, I'm not. No, I'm not putting these back. Nope. We're keeping them. Five of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Two of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles in the star. Hmm. Silence speaks volumes, doesn't it? Somebody might decide that they miss you. They don't want this to be over. They, they don't want this to end. Somebody might decide that they want to try to come back in, try to even the scales up, bring a healing... Talk to me about this Queen of Cups from Water Sign Friends, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Talk to me about this Queen of Cups, please. Really? It's giving me, like, wads. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. Magician reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Nine of Wands strength reversed. And the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Could be some manipulation going on here. One on the cluster, please.
just as soon as you decide you're going to cut something out and balance your own scales. Yeah, you're going to ignore it. You're going to ignore it and choose yourself first. Yeah, I don't want your cup after all. I don't want your cup after all. Okay. The Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a player. Yeah, I feel like they were, you know, all these twos. I kind of feel like there may have been a, a choice for somebody here. And then I see the Knight of Wands. Yeah. Somebody's a player. Talk to me about this Two of Wands for why it happens, please. Two of Wands, Two of Wands. Queen of Wands. She goes after what she wants. She knows what she wants. She's got charisma. She's fun to be around. She's a fire sign. You could have been dealing with a fire sign. Queen of Pentacles reversed. I mean, in the upright, Queen of Pentacles is pretty badass. She has it all, don't need nobody else's, but in the reverse, she's kind of... Maybe this person, you know, I say she because that's what's depicted in the card. Insert whatever pronoun works best for you. Put yourself wherever you see fit. You guys know the drill. Lack of confidence. Doesn't necessarily see herself or himself as the catch. Two of Wands reversed. Hmm. Oh, friends. Oh, friends. Somebody couldn't decide. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why the Nine of Cups? Why the Nine of Cups? Page Wands. Page of Pentacles revert. Oh, shh. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> you know, when people are in the Nine of Cups energy, it's that, okay, they're at a place where they're emotionally good and they're emotionally okay. They got Nine Cups, they're amazing. They might be seeking a 10th cup, or they're ready to receive the 10th cup. There ain't no cups here. There's sticks and there's coins. And right now, both these coins are in the reverse. I need one more on that. Queen, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles reversed. Sounds like somebody maybe was a lot of talk and not a lot of anything solid or stable. I can offer you something, but a little something, something, know what I'm saying, a little sugar and spice and all things nice. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, those of you who've been following the channel for a while know I dance around certain subjects. Seven of Cups. <laughs> Wands are also action. You better have something to back it up with. Somebody had a lot of choices. Somebody had choices. It's all about choices, water signs. Why is the eight of coin here? Eight of coins. Usually speaks about work and money. And I'll also talk about energy and effort. Talk to me about this eight of coins, please. Emperor. Wow. Ten 
of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Tenth Cup, the Tenth Cup, the Tenth Cup. Energy, effort, not being able to lay something to rest. The Tenth Cup. Now that's a man with something to offer right there. Mm-hmm. Somebody got their shit together. Give me one on this four of swords reversed. Devil. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Oh, gee. Okay. Energy and effort. Restlessness. Wanting the stability. The devil talks about... Mm, it can talk about toxicity. That's one of the things talked about. Binding connections, like like soul ties, that shit. And I'll, oh hell, I'm just gonna say it talks about sex, y'all. Talks about sex. It does. It does. Somebody made the decision to put their energy and efforts into finding something that was solid and stable. And not just talking about this. Sugar and spice and all things nice. Somebody wants commitment. I think somebody wasn't offering commitment. It's going to be a little bit of a crossroads. Just because something feel good doesn't necessarily mean it feels right or it is right. You know what I'm saying? It's knowing the difference between what feels good and what feels right. All right, three swords. Talk to me about this three swords versus the outcome from a water sign, friends. These cups are versed. Yeah. I feel like this is just accepting the fact that it didn't work out. Queen of Swords, making logical choices, doing what's best for you. The truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Things being revealed, making decisions for your benefit, using your swords to cut out what needs to be cut out. Doing you. Um, it's, 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 uh, she's, she's somewhat emotionally detached. She's logical. You're going to be logical. Ten of Swords reverse. Ah, talk to me. Oh, death. Death. At the bottom of the deck. That's about allowing things to end so new things can come. Death, birth, resurrection, all that happy jazz. Talk to me about this Ten of Swords reversed. Death flies out. Well, gee. Okay. The longer you lay in it, the worse it is going to hurt. The longer you drag this out. I feel like somebody in this scenario is going to keep trying to drag this out. I don't think you all about that, water sign friends. I think you all about letting this end. Cutting out what needs to be cut out. Loving you. Rejecting the cup. What's in the cup? A coin or a stick? It's going to benefit you more in the long term. A coin or a stick? you got to ask yourself that. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Slow and steady wins the race. Let Lady Justice protect you right now. All right. Give me a wisdom. Give me a wisdom. Poised. Okay. Well, I guess we'll take it. Poised. Number 48. Four plus eight is twelve. One plus two is three. Three is the number of a divinity. You're being divinely protected. Talk to me about poised. 
being ready, bringing something to light, being at your best, confidence. You know what the relationship message, you know, I'm going to read them both. The Oracle's message. You can be assured that you are ready for anything right now. You know what you need. <clears throat> you know what you need to. Your skills are sharp. You've come to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge. And you sense a new phase of your life about to begin. People respond to your confidence and trust you. This is an auspicious time to begin new things. His relationship message. When you're confident and happy in your own skin, you are ready for deeper, more intimate relationships. You have nothing to prove right now. You are completely yourself and can handle anything. Love, friendships, harmonious new connections are all present now or are coming in. You, you're ready to give and receive from the heart. This is a beautiful place to be. Water sign friends. Wow. Hmm. Okay. As always, we're going to pause. I'm going to clear the decks and we're going to move on to fire. All right, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, March 6th through the 13th. Time's fluid anyway. I mean, I'll probably watch this in freaking June if it's resonating with you. That's when you were meant to see it. That's when you were meant to take a message out of it if you're meant to take a message out of it. Alright. Alright, we're going to get a flyer and shuffle it again. Fly, baby, fly. I am not taking three. And the universe says, yes, you are. Nine of swords reversed. Knave of swords, seven of coins. Hmm. Hmm. All right, fire. I'll let you take three this time. Just because this is fire sign tarot. That little knave of swords, I love him. Sometimes he tells us stuff we don't want to hear, but he's always honest. I feel like some of you are letting go of anxiety about a situation and just patiently waiting. Patiently waiting for word. All right. Two, one, and two. King of Swords reversed. Four of Swords. Fire. I have warned you about making emotionally based decisions. When fire signs make emotional decisions, bad things have a tendency to happen. Sometimes, and I, I am, I am a sad son, so I'm allowed. I can speak. I, I can speak because I are one. Most of the time, we got a handle on it, and then there's times when we don't. Your challenge right now is letting something go, processing a heartache. That's your challenge because you're pissed. Some of you are patiently waiting. You're not anxious about it anymore. You're just waiting. 
what's going to fruit out of this? Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, that's beautiful. The ace of coins, the devil reversed, and the sun. That's freaking beautiful. That's the seed that bears fruit, baby. Right there. It grows slow. But that's the seed that bears fruit. You're disconnecting from something you're bound to. And the sun's going to shine again. This is the happiest freaking card in the deck right here. It's coming. It's coming. Just got to be patient. Don't be so anxious. I feel like y'all got to let something go. Got to let it go. Find your logical mindset. It's there. It's there. We fire. We spit fire sometimes. We spit fire. Get a handle on it, honey. It's not the end of the world. Ace wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. Lay down your stick. Okay. Need, a, need an explanation for this when we get there. Walk away, let it hurt. Walk away and let it hurt. Three swords. The make or break is how you deal with this. How you process the emotion. This is going to hurt and it's going to suck. Sometimes it takes more strength to walk away than it does to stay. Let's get a little clarity. It's how you walk away. And why. You walk away. There's a cup being handed to you. You don't see it because you're staring at three empty cups. Talk to me about this King of Swords reversed. I just want to know why you're pissed. Six of Wands. Something ended, something disconnected, truths were spoken, truth came out. Something possibly maybe you wanted to be commitment didn't happen. It could have been. Okay, six of wands could be like victory after the battle, right? Okay, okay. He's a show off. It's very open, very public. I'm catching a sense that I'm catching a sense of embarrassment because I think you were the last one to know. If that makes sense to anybody, I'm feeling sensing you were the last one to know. And that's what made you mad for some of you, possibly. Or it was just extremely public and extremely out there.
something came to a very public end. It's okay though. We got an ace of coins. And a two of cups. Can't get no better than that. And talk to me about this devil. Talk to me about the devil reversed. Disconnecting from a guy on a horse holding a stick, guy on a horse holding a stick. I'm making a connection, just bear with me. The Knight of Swords decided to fly out in reverse too. You're disconnecting. You're blocking somebody. Somebody who's been very in and out. Very nice. Very nice. Somebody played you. Somebody played you. You got happiness coming. Two people basking in the sun. Two people holding cups. I mean, that's beautiful, guys. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Talk to me about the sun. The one one on the sun. Hi. Knight of Cups reverse. What? Hold on. Hold on. Side story. Give me a second. The rejection of a cup. Someone's trying to hand you a cup. You're staring at three spilled cups. This can also be a return. Possibly the challenge is laying something to rest because it came back. Possibly. Give me one more on that sun card, please. And there's that page of swords. Sometimes he tells us things we don't want to hear. And sometimes he indicates that we're going to tell somebody something they don't necessarily want to hear, but it's going to be the truth. I feel like somebody's about to say too little too late, sir or ma'am. You walked away once. I'm not going to give you a chance to walk away twice because I got something new going on. I'm disconnecting from your ass. Very good. Let's talk about why it happened. Three of Wands reversed. Reversed. Queen of Swords. Oh, snap. One more. I feel like something got drug out. Somebody got kept on a string. Somebody didn't want something to end. Possibly some, possibly the player didn't want something to end because, you know, I got somebody else on a horse here, too. Mm. And cups were spilled. Somebody got sick of waiting. Cups got spilled. Nine of coins reversed. Nine of coins reversed for my fire sign friends, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Why is the nine of cord? Two swords reversed. I don't want to let go. You had to make a painful decision because party didn't want to let him go. It's called emotional codependency. It happens to the best of us. Don't 
really. One more. But Judgment and the Empress. Possibly you have children with this person. Possibly this has been resurrected over and over and over again. Every time it ended, it just began again. You made the painful decision to let go. And like magic, Four of Wands. What happens when you make the final judgment call to release something from your life and say enough is enough? The door opens that you're supposed to walk through. Moon reversed. Things become clear. The fog lifts. The smoke blows away. The sun rises. You can see because it's not the dark of night anymore. Three of cups reversed. There's too many people in that scenario anyway. Disconnect. Nine of Pentacles upright at the bottom of the deck. You freed yourself. It's pretty fucking awesome. Just throwing that out there. All right. So you're going to keep walking. Eight of Cups. One on this Eight of Cups. It's going to hurt like hell. It's going to hurt like hell. <laughs> One on the Eight of Cups. Lovers reversed, devil reversed. Three pentacles reversed. You're walking away from something that didn't work. You're walking toward something that is going to work. You're walking toward the ace of pentacles, the seed that grows. It grows slow, but it grows. It grows. But you have to nurture it without distraction. And I think a huge distraction is whatever keeps coming back to haunt you. Four of Wands. Walk through the open door, baby. Walk toward the sun, baby. One on this Three of Swords, please. One on this Three of Swords, please. Four of Swords reversed. This is going to hurt. This is probably for some of you going to be the most painful thing you've ever had to do. But sometimes things have to hurt so they can heal. If you've ever broken a bone or had a real deep cut, things itch like an annoying itch. It itches and it's annoying because it's healing. Mm -hmm. That's why it itches and that's why it hurts. Bruises or blood building up. The blood builds up and it itches because you're healing. Healing hurts. Don't avoid the pain. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That's new thought processes. New logic. Let's get a wisdom from my fire sign friends, shall we? And then I'm going to go get a refill of coffee before I start Earth Signs. Hello, who came out to play? Mending, let's read Mending. Number 
Forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. I'm going to read the oracle and the relationship message, just like I did for the water signs. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes, the resent, the echoes of resentments and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. What was I just saying? Was I just saying? You saw the card fly out, okay? I don't edit my shit, just, just so we're clear. Once in a while, if there's like a long, weird, awkward pause, if I'm like sitting here for five minutes staring at the cards, I might edit that out, but I, there's no camera tricks here. You saw it fly out. You have to heal. Fire signs. You have to heal. All right, relationship message. You've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you're to move forward, separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of a hurt that is impacting everything you do, even if you're not aware of it. The energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and an honest redress. All right, fire signs. I think I, I think the cards have spoken. So I'm gonna pause, clear the decks, go get a cup of coffee, and then we're gonna read for Earth. Okay. Okay, Earth sign friends. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, March fifth. Sorry, 6th, March 6th through the 13th. <clears throat> Getting this one out early. No. I'd have to switch decks. Think this one's getting a little tired. King of coins reversed. Let me get a clarifier on that before I speak. Four shuffles. ones at the bottom of the deck. Could have been fire sign involved. Didn't necessarily have to be.
A cup was spilled. You lack confidence. Your challenge is accepting it. Why the star? Please tell me this is healing. It could just be an Aquarius. Please tell me this is healing. Oh, I need one more. This is going to be one of those place yourselves wherever you see fit. Okay, no anxiety. Good. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, a cup has been spilled. Your challenge either is or has been up to this point, accepting the fate of the situation, not allowing yourself to be hung up in the gallows about it. Healing. Six of Wands can indicate a return. Two of Cups can indicate something new. High Priestess reversed. It can either indicate secrets being revealed or somebody being extremely, for lack of a better phrase, butthurt about it. Eight of Swords. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Swords reversed. That doesn't feel butt hurt. You could possibly see them with someone else. Now that the secret's out, okay, now I know. I'm not going to lose sleep over it anymore. Talk to me about this Eight of Wands. Talk to me about this Eight of Wands. King of Swords, Page of Cups, could be an air sign person, could be a water sign person, could be a fire sign person. There's communication. Honest communication. Could be an apology. The star just happens to be a card of Aquarius. Communication coming in could be an apology. Empress, okay. Knight of Wands. Oh, oh, oh. If this is for somebody, 
I'm just going to be out with it because I feel compelled to say it. You might find out somebody was already married or had children with somebody else. The apology, the communication. I was a player. <laughs> Why the nine of coins reversed? Ace of wands. Page of wands reversed. tower. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The tower is reversed. <sighs> Somebody's watching. I feel like they might be a little bit hung up on you. Wanting to rebuild a tower. Hanging back, not saying anything. They might be a little bit anxious about trying to rebuild with you now that you know the truth. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Right, let's find out why it all happened. Four of Wands reversed. It's like my minor arcana tower. It's doors slamming. It's things crumbling. Not really a reason to celebrate. It's not It's not a shining moment. Lovers reversed. Okay. So y'all broke up. Fine. Okay. <laughs> a choice was made. The choice maybe was not you. Okay. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune reversed. Something wasn't over. Something had to be revisited. It's the karmic wheel. It's the wheel that spins and we learn lessons. Restless energy. Something needed to be laid to rest that hadn't been laid to rest yet. Five of pentacles. They, they straight up ghosted. Whoa. They straight up ghosted. I'm feeling like new phone who this ghosted. Whoa. Seven of Swords. Talk to me about this Seven of Swords. Holding back, Four of Pentacles, King of Cups, Page of Pentacles reversed, Secret Stagnation, Withholding Offers, Withholding Emotion, Holding Back, Lies, yeah. Wow. Queen of Wands. She knows what she wants. She goes after what she wants. She gets what she wants. Hmm. Let's see what's under her in a second. I'm curious. I feel like this may have just been a sex-based connection. That's honestly what I'm feeling. Yeah, we ain't dancing around it anymore. We're just not. I'm just going to be out with it. Three of Cups is the conclusion. That's not union and harmony. That's not celebration. We want on this three of cups, please. 
I'm not feeling so harmonious. I'm feeling like that screaming third party. Just throwing that out there. Seven of Wands reversed. Six of Coins reversed. It's, always, it's, it's a never-ending battle. It's a battle you can't win. It's never going to be equal. It will never be equal. If you decide to return to this, or allow this to return to you, if you decide to rebuild this, it's not going to be equal. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hate to be that reader, but talk to me more about the Six of Coins. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Never going to be enough to give. Never going to be able to offer everything. Queen of Cups. You got to love yourself first. You got to know what you want. You got to know what you don't want. Let's see what's under her. Ace of Swords. Four of Coins. Knave of Coins. Knave of Swords reversed. Eight of Swords reversed. They will say anything to ease your mind. Full reversed. King of Cups. Oh, snap. Oh, honey. They're going to try to get it started again with you. Yeah, this feels like the beginning of a painful cycle that never ends. Yeah. Yeah. Constant holding back. The Knave of Coins half truths trying to put your mind at ease but don't trust it because the cup's always going to be half full you're always going to be poker faced is it's time to end oh yep yep do you want me to keep going because i'll keep going the world judgment and the ten of swords it's time to put the painful cycle to an end the magician they're trying to manipulate you Three of Swords, reversed. I won't break your heart. I won't do it to you again. Time to go Queen of Swords, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Don't freak out. They're gonna keep you waiting. They can keep you waiting. Because they're not wands. I feel like you got commitment coming in if you love yourself, though. And don't throw any more energy into this. Because it already went south once. I'm not going to keep throwing cards out of that deck. I'm just not. All right. All right. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Things don't happen by accident. Love yourself first. Truth's gonna come out. Truth's gonna come out. Don't move forward with this. Block it. Because they're always gonna hold back and keep you waiting for something to fruit. Seven of Cups upright, Seven of Cups reversed. They're going to keep you confused, trying to keep you as an option. You're trying to keep them as an option, want to be an option for you. Time to shut that shit down, honey. Time to shut that shit down. But, you know, do what you want. Do you. I encourage you to do you. Earth sign friends. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I encourage you to do you. Oh, wow. Let's get, let's get wisdom oracle. Please, by all means, do you. A loyal heart. Number 35. 3 plus 5 is 8.
Fidelity, loyalty, devotion. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you, and you will in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. No matter the outer circumstances in your life, trust and have faith, for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected, and divinely directed. Okay, that was the oracle message. Here's your relationship message. Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. All right. I'm going to pause, clear the decks, and we're going to move on to air. Okay, air sign friends. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. March 6th through the 13th. What do we got? What do we got? All right. Can you let something fly out at me? Let something fly out at me. Come on. It's going to fly out at me. It's going to fly out at me. Oh. The lover's reversed. Well, shoot. Okay. I'm not saying another word to like get cards on the table. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't feel like it now, but you will heal from this. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like apologies are probably in order from someone. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to receive them. Maybe you need to apologize to someone. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Lovers reversed. Star reversed. Y'all broke up and it hurts. It hurts. I feel like this is very fresh and very new.
something has come to an end. Your challenge it challenge is walking the path. I forget about this hermit reversed. You know the wheel is spinning in an upward direction. I feel like this is a good thing. It doesn't feel like it right now, but this is a good thing. The fool. Okay. It's a scary path to walk to new things, isn't it? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Talk to me about the Queen of Wands. She is fire. Knows what she wants, knows what she doesn't want, knows what she's not going to put up with. That's a whole lot of cards to throw at me. We're going to put these back, but we're addressing it. The world, the page of cups, the king of swords, the knight of swords, the knight of cups. Look at them stare at each other. Forever ending, there is a new beginning. You mustn't be so guarded. <sighs> Let your guard down a little. Just a little. All right. Put these back. Let's see what else comes out. Or the world in the upright was at the top of that. So something is ending so something new can begin. I think you're a little bit afraid of it. Ace of Wands. Could be with a fire sign, specifically Leo, if we really want to go there. But you're unsure. You need to come back into balance. Things need to be cut out before something new can start. I feel like that start is coming. But ten of coins reversed. Talk to me about this ten of coins reversed. Hanged man. The ten of coins reversed. It can talk about financial breakdowns. We can also talk to, talk about breakdowns in the family and in the home, and I think I had a flipper. I just got to find it. Hold on. Emperor reversed. Could be an Aries involved. Shit went down, or it's about to go down. Things are about to be revealed. The great humbling. Three of swords reverse. Someone will double down. Someone may humble themselves. Truths come out. Someone may not want the breakdown of a family. Empress, the Emperor and the Empress are both in the reverse. Good God. This hurts. Six. 
six of wands reversed. Oh, that is not a victorious moment. It's the land arrest. Cutting what needs to be cut, processing what needs to be processed, processing what needs to be processed. Why the eight of wands reversed? That's could be lack of communication, could be lack of forward movement. Two of two of pentacles. It's about finding and regaining balance. Things changing. Possibly things no longer moving forward or not moving in the direction you want them to move in. King of Cups reversed. The Magician and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone may come in and try to manipulate you. Knight of Swords. I don't think you have in that. Twisting truths, trying to keep the family together. I don't think you have in that. One more on that. Wait and see what fruits. Don't make any rash decisions. Wait and see what fruits. This is going to be a painful process. You wait and see what fruits. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here for why it happened? Why the Seven of Cups reversed? This is confusion. This is confusion. The Hermit, the Hermit, and the Upright. Inner reflection, introspection, trying to sort things out, going inside, walking the walk. King of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands. Why the Eight of Wands? Eight of Swords reversed. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Somebody needed a minute and somebody came in to throw a band-aid on somebody else's wound. Oh, shoot. That got real unnecessary real quick, didn't it? All right. Why the Nine of Wands reversed? Why the Nine of Wands reversed? Ten of Cups. Ten of Wands. Okay, this screams endings. Seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. Seven of swords. The Hierophant. Yeah, this just got it real unnecessary real quick. Somebody got duped. Somebody threw in the towel. Somebody was making small promises and offering cups. Could have been someone from their past. Something came to an end. Somebody threw in a towel on something.
Wow, who is this going to resonate with? Holy cow. Somebody got duped. Somebody threw in a towel and got duped. What's the chariot reversed all about? The humbling of oneself. Chariot came to a dead stop. Three of cups reversed. Or the gap tried to be closed. Somebody's trying to close a gap. Wanting to end the third party shit, maybe? Come back in on the level. Cups first, nine of cups. Chariot in the upright. Chariot in the upright. Getting the chariot back on track. We're trying to get the chariot back on track. I no longer hold a cup for you. I'm good. Are ya? Are ya? Were ya? And the Wheel of Fortune. Something ended, so something new could begin. A cl cycle closed, so a new cycle could start. But it hurts. Chariot's still at the bottom of the deck. But distance, time and distance, space. Put space in there. Space in there. The great humbling. Truths coming out. I didn't mean to break your heart, but you cut them out anyway. You've processed what you need to process. But you're still afraid of the path. Don't be afraid of the path. Don't be afraid of the path. They're going to try to suck you back in. I'm warning you now. Possibly try to manipulate you. Just wait and see what happens. You just wait and see. You just wait and see. Eight of Swords. Talk to me about this Eight of Swords. Why so anxious? Why so anxious? Moving forward. Moving forward. That anxiousness eases in time. Across some choppy waters here. The sun. Two of Cups reversed. Cross that trop. Bleh. Bleh. Can't make words work right now. You gotta cross those choppy waters to get to the sun, friends. Don't let this suck you back in. We're gonna try to suck you back in. You need to process your heartache. One of the four swords. Because if you don't process your heartache, you're going to keep that sword in your hand. This is what's coming in. Oh gosh. The one on the four swords. Oh honey, you got to let go. You have to let go of all those feelings of lack of self-worth. You know you're the catch. 
You let that shit go. You let that shit go. The world, let it end. Let it end. Two of swords, of, two of swords, and a page of cups. Y'all, the clarity you need to make this decision. Take the blindfold off. Get something new coming in. Page of cups, knight of cups. Ooh, knight of wands. I don't like that. That chariot's back at the bottom of the deck. You gotta steer the chariot where you want it to go. Knight of wands can also talk about forward movement. Forward movement. Blazing the trail. He's a trailblazer. He likes adventure. <coughs> and he's fearless. Some might argue he's too stupid to be afraid. I don't think so in this case. He's just fearless. You have to embrace that fearless energy sometimes. Okay. I see you slamming the door. Just keep, the, you put that distance in there because they're going to, I see them coming back trying to make themselves an option and ended up becoming defeated. Seven of wands reversed, six of wands reversed, high priestess reversed. That's all kinds of butt hurt, negative energy. Slamming doors, ace of swords, king of swords reversed, six of coins, star reversed, nine of cups reversed, ten of cups reversed, two of cups, king of coins, emperor reversed. This is a vicious cycle. You gotta process that sadness. This King of Swords, here's the funny thing about the King of Swords. He makes emotion based decisions, not logical ones, and sometimes we make emotionally based decisions when we're carrying around baggage. We don't need to be carrying around. We don't heal from shit. Sometimes we need to give ourselves closure. Our good things come in and we don't take them because we haven't disconnected from the toxic crap in our past and processed necessary emotions and we don't get new starts. All right. Okay, friends. Oh, little page of swords. Sometimes the little page of swords tells us things we don't want to hear even if we need to hear him. And sometimes that little page of swords says things that he doesn't want to say, but somebody needed to hear it. I need wisdom. Wisdom from air sign, friends. I'm getting a little tired. I'm like almost an hour and a half into this. One plus nine is ten. Ten plus zero was one. I think you're getting real close to the end of something here. So something new can begin. Flexible. Number 19. Number 19. Teachability. Open-mindedness. Being adaptable without compromising what's most important. A tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane. 
whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains supple and the structure when everything around it may be in shambles. This is how you need to be now, willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. All right, that was the Oracle message. Here's the relationship message. In every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rig rigidity is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get what needs met. You can still get your needs met. Wow, I don't know where that came from. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. All right, air sign friends. This has been your reading for the coming week. Feel free to leave comments as the week goes by. Let me know if it resonates. Same goes for everybody else. Okay, guys. This has been the weekly reading. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. Um, I will catch everybody for the next weekly. Next weekend. Could be Friday night. Could be Saturday night. I don't know. I literally just read when I have time at this point. Um, sorry, I haven't started the March readings yet. Um, fighting a low vibe. As most of you know, um, about a week and a half ago, we lost the old man, our channel mascot, Tigger Poo the Tabby Cat. And it's just, it's been a process. I know, it, I know it sounds ridiculous to some of you because you know, he was just a cat, but he wasn't just a cat. He was a loyal and faithful friend and he was with my family for 13 and a half years. I literally had that cat in my family longer than I had the former domestic partner, my ex-husband, and longer than I've had my son. So um, this was a hard, a hard one to swallow. All right, guys, know that you are loved to be blessed. I send you off with peace, love, and light. And I will catch you next time, whatever next time may be. Take care.